Welcome back, Legendary Potato. Today I want to show you guys the Universal Minecraft Editor that just released by Oprize LP. So this is a very unique NBT editor and that it works for Minecraft Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, Wii U, Java, Pocket Edition, and Windows 10. In this video, I'm going to show you guys why this editor is so amazing and what you can do with it and what the potential is with editing with this program. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So here I'm going to demonstrate using an Xbox 360 world. Uh, so what's great about this program is that it allows you to pick a world without the use of Horizon. That's right, the days of Horizon are all gone where you don't need to extract your world to a dot .dat format onto your desktop. You can now select your world from your USB directly, which is insane if you are into modding really quickly. So here I'm going to use my adventure craft world as a demonstration as to what you can expect in this mod tool. So as you can see there's multiple tabs on the left, there's some of your tags on the top, your typical NBT editing stuff you would expect, and then there's also some more stuff up here which we'll get into eventually as well. So to start things off, we have our things on the left here. As you can see we have our different sections. We have the player section which allows us to modify our player. So as you can see your typical NBT editing stuff. Uh, but there's a little bit more of a twist to everything here. As you can see, the nice GUI is really, really complementing the look of this thing here. As you can see, this program has a really nice GUI. It's very nice to look at, and you can also get straight to the point with it. Now, if I go ahead and edit these things, you'll see that there's even more to this program, which makes it even more unique. I'm going to edit my inventory items, or my ender chest items here, as you can see, because I have a lot I want to show you guys in here. So as you can see right away, there's some pink items. Now what's really cool about this is that this program actually has custom features for when things are enchanted and other sorts like that. So if an item is enchanted, it has a pink glow so it's very easy to see and tell what's going on with this. So as you can see here, I have some leather armor in my inventory which is enchanted and also custom named which displays as well. Not only that, but you can also see each icon in the game for what that item is. So the days of trying to figure out what each item is in your inventory are in the past. You can now visually see it right there and it makes it much easier to figure out what you're trying to mod. So what's cool about this program is that it allows you to mod really quickly with the use of quick mods as they are called. It allows you to quickly modify items with very little knowledge of how to actually do it with the coding. With the use of quick mods, we're able to quickly modify things that would normally be more difficult before. So as you can see here, we have enchant, display name, and change item quick mods which allow us to quickly do these mods without having to actually edit the code. So if I want to add a certain enchantment, let's say I want to go ahead and add something like uh, looting to our sword, then I can go ahead and do that and modify the level as easily as I want to, or even max it out to its maximum enchantment level. As you can see, it quickly adds it right there and updates it in real time. I can easily change the enchantment and do whatever I want with it, just changing the level or the enchantment on it. If I want to change it to smite, it is as easy as that and it's good to go. As well as that, you can modify its display name as easily as that. And you can also quickly change the item. So if you don't like the item you have in your inventory and you want to quickly change it to something else, every single item in the game is in ID order. So you can go ahead and quickly find something and change it to whatever you'd like. So if you want to change to a certain block or item, you can go ahead and do that. Or if you want to find something like a barrier block, then you can do that as easily as this. So what makes this NBT editor so cool is that it makes it really easy to understand exactly what's going on. So as you can see here, our attributes are actually labeled as such, so we can understand what they are without having to understand what the numbers and IDs mean in here. It just tells us right here on the side, so we understand exactly what it means. You can also modify it and it will update in real time. As well as that, you can now modify the maps easily through the NBT editor. You can click on it and also map edit it. So as you can see here, we can select our own custom image and import it right into the map without any problems. So if I wanted to select an image off my computer, I can do that with no problem. So let's say I wanted to go ahead and select my YouTube user profile. I can go ahead and do that right from my computer and it works just fine as well as having some custom choices. So if I want to modify how it looks, and whatever I'm fine with, I can go ahead and select so I can play around with the options until I get something that I'm pleased with. 
press OK, and it is automatically saved onto your map. So now down to the world settings and view files. These are just standard world settings that you would see on your worlds. You can go ahead and modify them as well. Nothing too interesting going on here. Same with view files. You can get to your files that are data, players, and your dimension files, as well as your level.dat as you would expect in MBT editing. So one of my favorite features of this program is the chunk locator option. So if I click on this, it shows me a visual representation of my chunks. So as you can see, I have these small, medium, and large. This shows how many bytes are in my chunks. So here is less than a thousand bytes, 1000 bytes to 2000 bytes, and over 2000 bytes per chunk. As well as that, we can change the view of this. So if I want to change it to map overlay, then it'll show me my map in the world, as you can see here. If I want to go even further with this, there's even this cool feature uh, called the block view. Now this scans your world and shows you what it looks like block for block, and it's a much more detailed version of that map. So as you can see, I can now much more visually see exactly what's going on in my world. I can see certain parts and certain things that you would not originally be able to see in your normal map. As well as that, there's the biome view. Since this is super flat, it's only going to show the same biome, nothing interesting here. But let me show you guys what it would look like on another world. So here I loaded up the Xbox tutorial world. And as you can see, you can see all the different chunks that are inside a normal Minecraft world and see how crazy it looks to see this. I think this is a really cool feature and you can kind of use it to your advantage to kind of understand what your biomes look like under the surface of the world. So the last function of the chunk locator is the height map, which allows you to see where the heights are more specifically in your world. So as you can see, the whiter areas are the taller, higher up areas, and the darker areas are the lower to the ground areas. So as you can see, there's gray that kind of shows the difference between the heights so you can get an understanding of world, what your world looks like in here. Now up to the top here, as you can see you have all your different tags and everything that you can use here. And then there's also these GUI buttons. So here is this one where you can now add other worlds so you can modify multiple worlds at the same time. For example, I have the tutorial world open as well as the adventure craft world so I can switch quickly back and forth between these without a problem. I can just go ahead and switch between them and keep doing what I want to do. If I want to add another world, I can select from whichever platform I would like to use. Let's say I want to open a 360 world, I can open up whatever world I'd like. So if I want to open up a mod testing world, it opens up right there really quickly. And I can go ahead and back and forth between these three. So here is the diamond. Now currently, at the time this is being recorded, this does not have any functions as of yet, but this is going to be the specialty mods area where it's going to have things like GRF editing and more things soon to come. And then the three dots over here are just some other options you can do, such as saving to USB, PC, and other options like that. So that was the Universal Minecraft Editor. Hopefully I went through everything you guys needed to know about the program and everything that there is to show. I'll leave a link to this program down in the description below, as well as the YouTube channel of the creator, LP, as he did an amazing job on this product and as he does deserve the support. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you do leave a like on it and subscribe if you haven't already as I'm going to do lots of videos on this mod program and if you guys want to see more of those then I do recommend you subscribe today. Thank you guys as always for watching the video. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. If you guys are just as hyped as I am, let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear it. But that'll be it. As always guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one and I'll see you guys next time.